Yeah. Welcome to our Omud Yom Shir. Following the Dirsha cycle, we are in Daf Ein Beizimud Aleph, and right now we are in Ein Aleph Omud Beiz in the very bottom of the page. Omar Ula. But before we go into Omar Ula, and the Shir's Lulu Nishmas, my father Menachem Ben Akiva. Before going to Omer Ula, we have to summarize a little bit of what we saw on Shabbos. We don't have a share on Shabbos, so we have to know what we did each one in his own house. Basically, we had a about the following. I have it here on the whiteboard. I apologize, it's not so clear for the people at home. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. A person ate two kazesim of chalev. One kazai is nine o'clock. Can you see? One ten o'clock. Nine o'clock, ten o'clock. You saw yet kazai. Chelev, treif. Ten o'clock, treif, chelev. And that's bad news. All one helem. So one helem, we always say one helem means, uh, okay, one hat is for all. The problem was, nine o'clock in the, it's eleven o'clock. He realized that he ate at nine o'clock. He ate the kazai. But he did not realize the second one. Only later, at 12, he realized about the second one. Do you remember the second one? Says that's what's a different color in green. When you have the, the memory of the earlier one, the nine o'clock, and then and you don't remember yet the second one, that's divided between them. That divides them into two korbanos. Even though he didn't separate the korban, let alone he didn't bring the korban. But the fact you knew about the korban, because korban, the knowledge of korban chatas is very important. The chiv is you realized it. Ah, you have to bring a korban. So Rabbi Yochanan takes it one step further, and he learns it from the psukim there. Yeah, Rabbi Yochanan says Chad Stein. This is al chatosoi, and each and every piece of knowledge, this piece of information came first. Boom, it relates to the first korban, not the second. When later on, remember the second one, we have to bring another one. Because knowing about one and not the other is as severe, it, it's, it's, it's dividing the two. Because knowing about the korban, about needing to bring the korban, it's as if you brought the korban. That's what Rabbi Yochanan says. And Rishlakish argues, Rishlakish says no, Rishlakish says nishtavoy. Rishlakish says that just to know about the korban is not enough. If you happen to already be Bringing the korban, you shech that you brought the korban. Clearly, then the second idea is not slept along, is not carried along. But if all you did was to just know about it, that is nothing. We had a debate in the Gemara. What happens if you're mafrish the korban? That's the stage in between. It was not just knowledge. You already set aside the korban for the first sin. Then we say, ah, maybe then Rishlakish would agree that that's already one step further. Imagine yourself like making your groove deeper and deeper. You know, the, the groove of you misyaches relating only to the first Misa, knowing, okay, maybe it's not, but Mafrish actually took a sheep and said, this will, this will be the Korban. Maybe that's considered ready to be, yes, dividing the two. Kill you know, already finished dealing with the first Misa, not with the second one. There was a debate. But conceptually, we all know that according to Reish Lakish, yeah, according to Reish Lakish, thank you, Tzvi, According to Rabbi Yochanan, to have a yedia, it's mechalik between the two. According to, according to, uh, otherwise, no. Yeah. Okay. One second. Let me just. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me see what I can do here. One second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's see what the Gemara now says. Omar Ula. Now, before we continue, we have to have a big introduction regarding Osham Tolui. Osham and Osham Tolui. So basically, when a person made, uh, when a person Lolena committed an Avera, which is a Chiyuv Chatos, let's say, what's Chiyuv Chatos? Anything bemezid would be Chores, B'Shoigeg is Chatos. Yeah, let's say Bemezid Lola in a person ate Chelev. That's the example we keep bringing. Bemezid. Beshoigig is Chatos, and Chatos works per 
Helen, I didn't know about this piece, and then I realized I have to bring you Corban. The Chula, the Chula, each and every one. What's Oshom? So before we talk about Oshom, let's talk about Oshom Tolu. Oshom Tolu means if a person didn't know whether he ate Chelav or not, he has a good reason to think he ate Chelav. He went to a restaurant, and then there were two pieces, and he was told one was Chelav, one wasn't Chelav, and he ate one piece. He doesn't know if the kosher one is what he ate or not. That's a big problem. So now he has to bring an Oshom Tolu. He has to bring a ram, an ayl, big animal, male, not female. Chattis is always female for individuals. He has to bring male ayl, a ram, in order to be tole that Hashem won't punish him until he finds out the truth. Once he found out, lo leinu, bad news, that what he ate was chelav, and the chenami, he still has to bring, on top of the Oshem Tolui, Oshem Tolui is only for questions, for maybes. Once you know you really you really did the wrong thing and you ate the chelav, then you have to bring a chatas. Now, let's talk about um, Oshem and Oshom Tolui, which means, yeah, let's see one second. Yeah. What happens if a person when does a person have to be when does a person have to bring Oshom regular Oshom, not Khatas? There are five cases. There are three types of Averas that you have to bring in a ram, male ram is Oshom. One of them is the Me'ilois, you embezzled, you ate something or used something from Beit Mikdash, right? By mistake. Zelos, you stole and you swore the sheker that you didn't steal and you did, and then you admitted you have to bring Oshon. The third one, which is going to be the star of the show today, is Shifcha Charufa. Shifcha Charufa is a woman who is a Shifcha Knainis. She was married to an Eved Ivri, which is allowed, but she's now half free. Let's say she had two Adoinim, two masters, one freed and one didn't. That used to happen. So now she's like a half anxious ish, not even anxious ish, half meyuchedes. Avodim don't really have issues. But there such a case that like can have a shatish. What happens then? Either show the door mazid, that's a chiddush which you have to know. If the master or any man, any man had relations with such a woman, he has to bring an ocean. He has to bring an ocean. Now, what happens if let's say a person didn't know whether what's in front of him is hekdesh or not hekdesh? If it was Hekdesh and he realized, oh, he made a mistake, but a mistake I ate Hekdesh meat, kosher meat, but Hekdesh, he has to bring Oshon, he has to bring the Korban Oshon. That's a regular Oshon. Now comes Machlokis, Rabbi Tafan and Rabbi Akiva. I'm just summarizing the first Rashi here. What would be if you didn't know whether what you, there were two pieces, one of them was Hekdesh, one wasn't Hekdesh. You didn't know if what you're eating is Hekdesh or not. I don't know what to do. So now, what do you bring? You bring Oshom Tolui. You bring Oshom Tolui. So Rabbi Kiva says, listen, you have to bring Oshom Tolui. Why? Because maybe what you ate is, is good, maybe it's bad, until you find out what's the real deal, what's the, what's all the, everything I'm telling you is the first Rashi here in the bottom of the page. We'll go, we're going to see Rashi's inside also today, later on. But now this is just an introduction, so I'm not looking inside. Basically, according to Rabbi Akiva, if you ate the chel, the another chelem, the maybe Hekdesh, you bring an Oshom Tolui. What happens if you found out, oh, bingo, not bingo, oy vavoy, I ate, it was, it was found out a minute later, a month later, a year later, what you ate was really Hekdesh. You have to bring a real Oshom. You have to bring Oshom. Now that you, now listen carefully, now that you have Yedi'ah, Yedi'ah is the name of the game. Now that you have the knowledge, oh, boom, the light bulb moment, I really had the the Osir thing, the Hekdesh, you have to bring Osham Vadai. So in other words, the same system of Vadai and Tolui exists by Osham as well. That's Rabbi Akiva. Why? All you have to remember is one thing, the main thing. According to Rabbi Akiva, in order to bring an Osham, just like the Chatas, it says, Oy hoi da elav chatosoi. Chatas means, I ate the Chelev unknowingly. I mean, I knew that I'm eating, I didn't know it's Chelev, or I didn't know it's Osir. And then came the Yediyah moment, that's always the postdoc. The idea hit him in the head. Oh, I ate that. On that, he brings the korban. Says Rabbi Akiva, we make cut and paste, and the same apply, copy and paste, the same applies to what? To Osham. Even though I brought an Osham Tolui, yeah, I still have to bring an Osham Vada once I realize. That is what Rabbi Akiva says. Can't Rabbi Talfon, often Rabbi Akiva's opponent, although he loved him very much. 
Rabbi Tarfan says about Rabbi Akiva, no, 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 no. When you have a system of male and female, you have a male korban, which is Oshom Tolu, it's a maybe, until I bring the real korban of Chatas, which is female, it's a different story, different thing, there's an interim in between, a stop gap, so Hashem shouldn't be so angry with me, I'm bringing the korban of Oshom Tolu. And then I bring the Chatas when I realize the truth. When it comes to Oshom, no. I can play much easier game, two for the price of one. I'm going to say like that, says Rabbi Tafon, and then it's all draw, brought there from Sukim and Roshas in Christus, Dabchav Beis, says Rabbi Tafon Azayim. If I don't know whether the two pieces I ate, one of them was, the one I ate, whether it was Hekdash or not Hekdash, do I owe Oshom to Beis Amikdash? I'll bring an Oshom Tolui, and I'll say in advance, hey, 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 if this is Oshom Tolui, great, I brought Oshom Tolui. I also have to bring to Beis Amikdash Choymesh, money compensation, if what I ate is not really problematic, then that choymish the money is just a donation. But if I will realize this is the this is the punchline, if in a month or a year or two years I'll realize retroactively and prospectively that it was the bad one, I don't have to bring a new Corbin. Wow. The Corbin I bring now is good for either it's a maybe or it's a badai, meaning now I'm a maybe, obviously. Even if I'll realize at some point what I did was bad, it was an Avera. The Corban I'm bringing now is going to recover that. In other words, Rabbi Talfon, all you have to remember is one thing. Rabbi Talfon does not require to have knowledge of the Chetz before bringing the Korban Hashem. So this is basically all we have to siphon from this whole story is one thing. Rabbi Akiva says, just like by Chatos, you have to know, I was over Chatos, oy, 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 shame on my head, ooh, ooh, I didn't know that Tzchelev, I didn't know it's Dam, I didn't know it's Yom Kippur, I didn't know it's Eshesish, all the Christos, 36 of them. And then I realized you have to have Ohoi Da'alov, that's how Chatzos works. So to by Oshom, you have to have the Oi Oi Ahaha moment, but Oshom also to bring the Oshom. That's Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Tafan says no. Rabbi Tafan says no. Ohoi Da'alov Chatzos. So it's a potuk exclusively for Chatzos. For Oshom, you don't have to know Bedafta. That's, so now we're going to make an interesting shidduch here. Between Harabi Akiva and Rabbi Talfan, the Tanoim, how are they explained with Amoiroim or Birchner Lishlakish? Because we see when it comes to Oshom, there's one person who, so to speak, belittles the idea of Yadia, of knowing that I sinned before I sinned. It's not required. And that's Rabbi Talfan. Rabbi Akiva is one requiring it. Rabbi Talfan doesn't. And we see somehow similar Machloikis. Not exactly the same. We're going now to merge it all. I'm preparing you the, the ingredients before we start cooking. Rabbi Yochanan and Rish Lakish, they argue about by chattas, of course chattas, you have to have Yedia, right? Now, Rabbi Yochanan gave Yedia more of a weight. Rabbi Yochanan said, if I, 11 o'clock, later on in the day, realized, oh, there was Yedia, that I ate the first kazais, but not the second, that idea is as if I brought a korban. That idea cuts the two kazesim to two different chiyuvim, even though it, it happened after I finished eating them. Wow, according to Rabbi Yochanan. Rashlakish says no. Rashlakish says, I know idea is important by chatos. Everyone knows that, but it's not that important. Just knowing that I sinned doesn't make it into uh, sin about one and not the other. That knowledge, in my mind, divides between the two because I realized A, I didn't realize B. I don't see that such a big deal. Unless it's really mafrish, or unless it brings the korban, only then we'll say that they're divided. That's a birchon and shtakish. Now let's see how one big happy family works or doesn't work. Omar Ula comes Ula and says, Lamad Omar Oshom Vadai. Sorry. Loba Yadia Betchila. According to the opinion that says, that Osham Vadai, a regular Osham, let's talk now about Shifcha Harufa. A man had relations with the Shifcha Harufa. Let's say Osham Vadai, lo ba yedia betchila. Yeah, in order to bring an Osham, you don't have to know that you sinned. You can bring a sin, you can bring an Osham Vadai and a maybe. That's up top. According to this, you know, it's going to happen something very interesting. Bal Chamesh Ba'ilus B'Shifcha Harufa, a person had relations five times with Shifcha Harufa, yeah, you only have to bring one korban for all five times. Let me explain. Let me explain. It says Rashi as follows. There is a Mishnah in Christus that says that there are people who bring, yeah, there are five cases in which one korban 
can cover for five different Averos. One of them is Shifcha Harufa, not only Shoigeg in one big Helem, that's not such a big Kiddush for us anymore, we already know about Helemos, even Mezid, wow. A guy had relations five times with a Shifcha Harufa, even knowingly, he knew it's Osir, no Kiboy, and he had five times, we still say the one one Osham covers all five. That's what the Mishnah says. Comes Ula and tells me that's not so simple. You know why he's only Chai Velo Achas? I'll tell you what he's coming to say. He's coming to say like this. Let's now start Dafka. We're saying this is Laman de Omar, yeah? Osham Vada Loba Yudia, the one who does not require Yudia. Rashi now starts the other way around. Let's see now Rashi inside. As much as I prepared this many times, this Omud, I feel like we have to see Rashi inside from the middle of the first. Yeah, Leman de Bayadia Betchila. Yeah. And start from. One second, Rashi. Trying to save us time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Aval Shogig. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah. Start from the line Aval Shogig Venoida. Start from the line Rashi Venoida. Venoida. Aval Shogig Venoida. Oh, so I told you already what Rashi said before. What happens if the guy had relations five times with Shivcha Harufa? If it was mistaken all the time, all along, all the time, mistaken, one covers for all. There we know that. If it was mazed all five times, same thing. Tzachidish Otoyo, Tzachidish. One, Corbin covers all five mazedim. Now let's start viewing, though, what happens, let me ask you now about that before, Ashi. What would you say if after each and every Be'ila, he realized again and again he was Shoigeg, um, and then he's Noida. I don't know how that would happen. The guy's amnesia or too involved in his typhus. I don't know. Every time he's boil and then Shoigeg and realizes again, he has Shgogo and Yedia cutting between the different Maisim. Be'ila, Yedia. Be'ila, Yedia. Every time there's Yedia. So now, according to Rabbi Akiva, that requires Yediyos, Rabbi Akiva says, look, Yediyos is important. Rabbi Akiva puts Yediyos on a high pedestal. It says Yediyos is important for the concept of, of, of Osham. Says Rashi, listen to this, Aval Shoigeg, Venoidelo ben Bia le Bia. It was Shoigeg, and every time between one Bia and the other, he realized that what he's doing is Osher. Leman de ba Yediyos betchila be Osham vadai, Rabbi Kiva that says that in order to bring an Osham, you have to have Yediya prior to bringing the Osham. Vada'i choshi b'hu l'chalik l'ashom ois, k'avos k'aporo, and the chalik is lo is amazing. Very good. In other words, knowing is important. So obviously everyone would say, although the Mishnah said this um, very this scandalous statement, k'ayv b'ayis amazing, one covers all of them, there's a limit. Obviously, if I brought a Korban between the B of 9 o'clock to the B of 9 o'clock, uh, to 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, I brought a Korban. Of course, the second B is not covered with the first the Korban. Ah, if so, what did we say before about Rabbi Yechonon? And here, Rabbi Kiva is joining forces. If we say that this is Choshuv, Yediyah is Choshuv for Oshon, if so, the Yedia is also considered as if you brought the Korban. And now, B and number one is not covered by B and number two. Each one is separate. The Yediyah is separate the Maisim to be in different compartments. According to who is that? Ali Rabbi Yochanan. Who is Rabbi Kiva's friend? Rabbi Yochanan. The Omar Le'el, Rabbi Yochanan said before, Rabbi Yochanan is one who said, if I had the idea here about the first Maisa, and not about the other one, Yediyah, according to Rabbi Yochanan, makes a big difference. Knowing makes divides in your mind the maizim. Very good. If so, then you have to bring a separate chatas for each and every one. Let me tell you the story. 11 o'clock, I realized, 9 o'clock, I ate chalem. Oy vavoy, I realized. 12 o'clock, I ate a 10. Let's bring one korban. No, you can't bring one korban. Says Rabbi Yochanan, because you realized A, and you forgot about the B, and then you remembered B, they're divided. Now you have to bring two korbanas. That's Rabbi Yochanan. So Rabbi Yochanan views the ideas as a chosh of a thing, that mentally it's divided in your mind, one shepsele won't do for both. And that's true about chatas, right? Now, how would we bring that into the story of the Oshom? Same thing, very good. The chashiva lechiluk yediyah 
כאילו הביא קורבן בין ידיע לידיע. הכל הייתה ביוחנן, knowing about, oh, I got to bring a קורבן, it's as if he brought a קורבן. And everyone agrees that if he brought a קורבן, on A, it doesn't cover B, obviously. Says Rabbi Yechon, knowing about it, as if you're already there. It's as if you're already there. Now, therefore, Hachanami, regarding Oshom, let's now compare Chathas to Oshom. Hachanami by Oshom, Choshem Chilu Kiyadiya, Kiyadu Vikorben Ben Bielabiya. If he realized, oi, vayvoi, I had relations with the Shifcha, and it's Oster, and it's terrible, even though he didn't do anything, Oshom is like Chathas, knowing makes a difference. Okay. Now that is if you follow Rabbi Akiva. It's not what Ula said. <laughs> well, Dafka spoke about Rabbi Talfon. By the way, by the way, what would Rosh Lakish say? Rosh Lakish says no. We'll see later. Rosh Lakish says I don't care. Why? Rosh Lakish says Yediya, Yediya Shmediya. It's all in your mind. It's all in your head. You didn't do anything. You didn't set aside an animal. You didn't let alone. You didn't bring the korban just to know. I have to bring A and not know about B. Doesn't mean much. Doesn't mean much. And therefore, says Rabbi Shlakish, for sure, would say by Oshem, forget it. Oshem is even able to see more fragile. By Oshem, just knowing, Gornish. Okay. So, in other words, according to Rabbi Kivut, we mechloikes Rabbi Yochanan and Shlakish. Now, let's continue in Rashi. Vashmuin and Ula. Now, that was just an introduction. Ula spoke actually about Rabbi Talfon, but the one who does not require the idea. Bechlal in Oshem. That's the point. I'll tell you what Rashi is about to say. Even Rabbi Yochanan, the extreme pro yediyah, that's only true when yediyah is necessary. Oshom, according to Rabbi Tarfon, you don't have to have yediyah. Even if I'm in a very big, fuzzy, cloudy kind of, you know, nebulous idea, yes, no, I can bring an Oshom. Ah, so yediyah is not choshu. So therefore, Rabbi Yochanan would agree to Rish Lakish that according to Rabbi Tarfon, since in Oshom yediyah is, is not choshu, Mimele Yadiyah in between won't make a difference. And even though you, I, I knew, and then again, Bia, I, I knew, again, Bia. So what? The Yadiyahs don't divide, even according to Rabbi Yochanan. Because according to Rabbi Tarfon in Oshon, because it's not necessary to begin with, it's also not serving as a divider between the Maisim. You got it. We just said the main part of the Gemara now. As hard as it is, we got we got to the point. I'll repeat, I'll repeat. The main idea is as follows. It says Rabbi Yochanan, when Yediyah, it says Mufurosh, black and white in the Torah, look at the beginning of Ayikra, around Dalad Hay, everyone agrees to that. Yediyahs are very important for Chathas. You have to realize, boom, bam, aha moment, light bulb moment, then that realization is Choshub. Both Rabbi Yochanan and Shlakish agree to that. Mechlakis Rabbi Yochanan and Shlakish is what happens after you finished all the maizim, I ate 10 kazesim chelev, 10 pieces of blood, then I had realizations afterwards, I had yediya retrospectively for what happened early in the morning, and not the other one, says Rabbi Yechon, and that alone, yediya is mechalek, the shlaki says yediya is not mechalek. But by Osham, according to Rabbi Tarfon, because by Osham, I don't have to have yediya whatsoever, according to Rabbi Tarfon. I can bring an Osham, and it may be, and it will be an Osham vada. Me mainly yediya, even Rabbi Yechon, and would step off his pedestal and say, in Khanami comes to Osham according to Arfan, the idea doesn't mean much. So therefore, even if you had Yadiyas, Ba'ila Yadiya, Ba'ila Yadiya, Ba'ila Yadiya, Ba'ila Yadiya all night long. So what the Yadiyas are not dividing. Because they're not Khoshu when it comes to Osham according to Arfan. It's not it's not a factor. You just said a third of the whole Gemara now. Because the Gemara will kind of partially repeat itself. Baruch Hashem, we got it? Baruch Hashem, very good. It's considered as a hard omud, but if you divide it, excuse the pun, so by dividing, it's really not hard. Continues the Gemara, Maski flow of Imnuna. Of Imnuna is not attacking Ula. Basically, the idea is how far do you go with your idea? Elam Atta, according to you, that you say that dividing, meaning, no, excuse me, knowing is not dividing. What's the next step after knowing? Not bringing the Korban, but Mafrish, setting it aside. Right? When I set aside, if you saw the Gemara yesterday, to set aside is more than just knowing in my mind and nobody knows what I'm thinking, but it's not bringing Korban to Beisam Mikdash with the blood on his back. What's the middle stage? Mafrish. He's still in his house in uh, wherever, in uh, Bnei Brak. He has a goat and a sheep uh, jumping around in his backyard. Yeah? And he he he, he consecrated, it was Mafrish, oh, this animal will be for my nine o'clock 
Achilles Chelev, and he does know about the 10 o'clock. When you mafrish, it's more than Yediyah and less than Kapoor. Shlema. Fractor of Imnuna, excuse me, Ula, how far would you go with your idea? I'm attacking you. Elameata, according to your logic, what would be the following case, which sounds like a funny idea, but Boal, a person had Be'ilo with the Shifcha Charufa, and was skipping two words here, says the Bach, Ve'hifrish Korban, a person was Boal with Shifcha Charufa, he set aside the Korban, oi, 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 well, maybe it was Mazid, by the way, <laughs> yeah, he's Mazid and says, okay, I'm Afrish a Korban, and then the Yetzer Hor got the better of him. It was Mafri Shekorban. He didn't bring it to Beis HaMikdash. It wasn't yet Shechted. He set aside, 9 o'clock at night, it was with the Shifcha Chorufa Bia. Then, 9.30, he realized, either it doesn't make a difference, Shifcha Chorufa, it's a unique case. It doesn't make a difference with Shekhi Gormezi. They said, okay, oy, 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 now what? Let's say it was mistaken to make it better for our Gemara, which is all connected to Chathas. Now he was knowing about 9 o'clock, and it was Mafrish. Okay, the Omar, the guy said, Hamtinuli, wait for me. Don't bring the korban. I want to have one more time. With the Shifcha Charufa, right? In other words, would would you go that far? Would you say that even though he was mafri, she set aside the korban, you will still say the setting aside the korban is also not, as I said, not like engraving the groove deep enough? Would you still say that it doesn't divide them and it's all considered as one big thing? And the Maise before Hafrosha and the Maise after Hafrosha can all be included, just like the Maise before and after Yediyah can be included? Omar Lein, no. No, 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 says Ula. Why are you thanking me? Maise de la Hafrosha, come up. You're talking about Maise after Hafrosha? No, I didn't say that. Maise de la Hafrosha, look, Amina. I didn't, I never said that in my life. Maise after Hafrosha, no. In other words, I'm being conservative. It's true that according to, again, according to Abtarfan, when it comes to Yediyah, Yediyah for Tarfan doesn't play a role here because I don't need Yediyah for Oshon. So therefore, if you have Yediyahs in between, what does it do to us? A Farosho is a mice already. It's not the full mice of bringing the Korban. You're not uh, spritzing the blood of Mizbech yet, but you're already Mafrish. Oh, that could be a different story. Maybe there, a Farosho could be as if you brought the Korban. That is a Chosh of a divider between the Maisim. Adkan, beautiful. Comes the Gemara now to bring not a different opinion, another Amoyer talking to compliment what the first one said. It's not arguing. He's actually following more or less the same idea from a different aspect. He also, Rav Dimi, when Rav Dimi came from Eretz Yisrael to Bobel, you know Rav Dimi and, um, and Rabin, you know they did? They were travelers. They would always travel back and forth, you know, you know. From Bobo to El Tesoro to tell people what's going on in the Advas Medrash. That's why we have a lot of interaction between Bobo and El Tesoro. Kiyosa of Dimi also explains some kind of, of, of some, the, the type of conversation makes sense according to that. Kiyosa of Dimi Omar, when Rav Dimi came to Bobo, he said, quoting Eretz Yisrael people, Leman de Omar Oshom Vadai Bai Yediya Betchila. That's Rabbi Akiva. I know how I remember Rabbi Akiva Yediya Ein Ein. Rabbi Akiva requires the idea. According to Rabbi Akiva, in order to bring Osham Vada, regular Osham, Shifcha Chalufa, and all the rest, you have to know 100%, ooh, I really was there, I did it, boom, boom, oy, 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 woe to me, I'm bringing a Korban. That's what Rabbi Akiva says. Simple. It's a post Rabbi That's what we're now in Rabbi Akiva's camp. According to him, Baal Chamesh Be'ilus Meshifcha Chalufa, he had five Be'ilus Meshifcha Chalufa, even according to Resh Lakish, <laughs> which means even Resh Lakish, right? What did Resh Lakish say? Resh Lakish said, according to the Havamina, yeah, to the way we understand now. Resh Lakish said, when it comes to Chatos, I did Chalev, 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 one, one Chalev after the other, not the same Achila, but five Achilas without knowing. <laughs> Later on, two hours later, I start realizing what I did. I realized one out of the five, yeah? Then, according to Rish Lakish, no, I don't have to bring a separate korban. And I slowly, all the lights turn on. He realizes the first tachila, boom. Then the second tachila, boom. Third tachila, boom. Just because Yediyas came slowly into his mind, Yediyas are not mechalkos, according to Rish Lakish. And all korbanos will be brought by one korban. That's Rish Lakish. He doesn't consider Yediyas as much. Oh, Givaldi, 
comes here and he says that although that's what Rafi says by us, because in Oshom, according to Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva does require Oshom before be, Yedia before Oshom. So if you had Beil of five, you have five Beilot of Shifcha Charufa, and then you realized, or even in between them, you have an each and every one. You are have an each and every one because Rabbi Akiva makes Yedia in Oshom Choshu required. Therefore, the Yediyas are dividers in between. Something here doesn't work right though, because what did Rabbi Kiva tell us? Rabbi Kiva basically equal. Rabbi Kiva does something very simple. Rabbi Kiva equalizes Osham to Chatas. That's all he does. Rabbi Kiva says, "Listen, my friend, Rabbi Tarfan, I think everyone's equal, <laughs> equality for all, American. <laughs> Just like Chatas has what you require your idea between, yeah, you require your idea before. So to Osham, okay, fine, fair enough." Therefore, that really creates a question of what we said. Because if you follow, really, we're not trying to say that Oshem became even more than the Chatos. We're trying to say, because by Chatos, what did Rabbi Tarfan say? Uh, what did Oshlaki say in Chatos? That if you had the idea one after the other, they're not they're, they're not dividing. You have to bring one Korban. And here by Oshem, he wants to say, according to Rabbi Kiva, it divides between them. Why? Omar Le Abaye, Abaye is now attacking or asking on what Rav Dimi said. Rav Dimi, what did he hear in Eretz Yisrael? It doesn't make sense. Are Chatos? How can you be holier than thou? <laughs> How can also be more than Chatos? Are Chatos the Bein and Yediyah Betchila? Everyone agrees, Rav Tafon, Rav Kiva, it's in the Torah. Chatos clearly, no question, engraved it in your mind. Do me a favor. Oi hoi do elav chatosoi. He has to know to internalize the Yediyah before bringing the Chatos. And yet, and yet, to please Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Shimon Malakish, and yet Rabbi Shimon Malakish said over there, no, I know that Yediyah is Choshu, but you need Yediyah, I agree. Before you bring the Korban in Yediyah, but so what? If I made one big mistake and had one, two, five, uh, uh, him, yeah, and then the Yediyahs came, one Yediyah, boom, one hour later, boom, another Yediyah, they're not dividing. At the end of the day, I had the ideas because all the ideas came one after the other, but the mice were together. I'll bring one korban. No, so the same should be by Oshom. All Rabbi Kiva did was to bring Oshom to the level of Chatos. So if here you say that the ideas are not Mechalek, by Oshom they shouldn't be Mechalek either. Oshom doesn't mean, it's, you know, it's like a, the guy becomes firmer than his own rabbi. <laughs> Oshom is more than Chatos? What's going on here? Ishtik. You know what to say. Rav Dimi is only quoting a Meroim in Eretz Yisrael, and really he stumped him. Abai really challenged him, so Rav Dimi doesn't know what to say. Now Abai is helping him. Abai is trying to help him and asking him, Omar Lay, says Abai to Rav Dimi, Dilma, maybe, very good, I'll help you. You know when you said you have on each and every one? Clearly! What Rabbi Menuna said a minute ago, let's say there was a frosh on each one. Ha -ha. In other words, when the Mishnah said over then Christus that five Be'ilas are all covered by one, that's when there was no frosha. In other words, the idea, the idea, the idea, boom. Rosh Lakis aren't care about the ideas. But when it comes to a frosha, that's crossing a red line. The guy had relations with Shivcha Chorufa, it was Marfish Korban. Another Yediya, another, another Maisa with Hafrosha. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hafrosha to set aside the Korban verbally and point at that little black sheep at the end of the herd and say, that black sheep is for my 9 o'clock Bia. The 10 o'clock Bia is not covered anymore, my friend. Party is over. And that, that's what Rabbi Menuhin said. And that's maybe what you meant to say. And that's the Kula Alma. Because both Rabbi, both Rabbi Yochanan and Shlakish would say, after Hafrosha, we're okay, we're good. It's not so simple from the previous page, but there's such a sign. Omar lay in, yes, that's what I meant. I'm sure that's what they meant in Eretz Israel. Very good. Everyone agrees when you went that far to a frosha between each and every Misa, you hive separately. One doesn't cover the other. That's crossing the divide. That's a red line. That's the Israeli Gaza border. No, no, no games now. Yeah, finished. Yeah. Gamarnu, a frosha, one Misa is before frosha, one after the frosha. You can't say, ah, oh, no, 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 no. Now, Kiyosu Rabin, now we're going to have beautiful three statements that basically summarize everything we said. Very nice. Kiyosu Rabin, when Rabin came from Eretz Yisrael to Bovel, Omar, he said as follows. Hakol Moedim, when he says Hakol, it means to say Rabbi Yochanan Rosh Lakish. Hakol Moedim, Rabbi Yochanan Rosh Lakish both agree with Shifcha Charufa, 
Meaning there's one case in which they all agree that you that one covers. I'm sorry, the screen is hard. I apologize. Yeah, one second. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Kiyosu Rabin. I'm restarting. Kiyosu Rabin. Rabin came from Eretz Yisrael to Bobo saying the following. Hakol Moedim. Rabbi Yochanan Shlakish, where did they live? In Eretz Yisrael. Hakol Moedim. My colleague is in Eretz Yisrael. Rabbi Yochanan Shlakish. There is one case in which they both agree with Shifcha Harufa that Shifcha Harufa that there is a case in which you divide. That you know what's the case when it's for sure divided between one of and the other when it was a fosho. I'm preempting, yeah? What? There's a case where everyone agrees that it's not divided. And one korban covers all my sin, all, to, all five together, all night long. And, one second, and there's a third case in which they argue, yeah? Rabbi Yochanan says it's divided in Oshom, in Shiv Harufa, and Oshlaki says it's, it's all one. Now we're going to summarize. Basically, you know it all. You know it all. We're just going to summarize it. Very nice. Case number one. Very good. What did Ula say? Ula said that if we talk according to who? To Rabbi Tarfon. Rabbi Tarfon? Ah, not again. We are fighting Rabbi regarding Khatos. When clearly when the idea is necessary, is an imperative, Rabbi Yochan takes to an extreme. It's so important, imperative, it's always dividing, even after the mice is over. Rashlaki says, hey, don't get carried away. But when it comes to Osham, according to Rabbi it is unnecessary. I don't need the idea. It's like I don't need to wear a green hat. Yeah? And therefore, everyone agrees that you only have one, even though yeah, the idea, idea in between, the ideas are nothing for Rabbi in Osham. Very good. One. Boom. One, 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 two, two to go. You know that. Everyone agrees. Shifcha charufa. You have on each and every ma'aseh separate osham when when you already set aside a korban. You had your nine o'clock and you said I did nine, ten, eleven, nine o'clock. Even between nine and ten. Ooh, I was mafresh that white sheep in the corner and the, oh pa 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 pa. You mafresh the korban. Boom, too late. You can't now join. The mice of after the approach, and say, I didn't yet bring you to base of there, so let's jump in the bedwagon. Too late, my friend. Both Rabbi Yochanan and Shlakish. Third, Umachloikes, Beshivcha Chaufa. When do they argue in Shivcha Chaufa? Leman de Omer Oshum Vadai, Bayedia Betchila, Machloikes Rabbi Yochanan Shum and Lakish. Very good. Which means, oh, when do they argue? When did Rabbi Yochanan Shlakish argue in Chatas? Who is the one who made Oshum be? Just like Chatos, Rabbi Akiva, the famous tanner. Dr. B. Akiva, I view Oshom, not for everything, of course. For that, in that respect, Oshom is like Chatos. You have to have your idea in between. Eh, not in between, you have to have your idea. You have to have your idea before being in the Korban. <laughs> in between is Rishayla. Chaz, Rabbi Yochan Shlaki, should say, great. The same Echlekes we have regarding your ideas of Chatos, we have over here. Which means, let's say the guy was Shoigeg, and realized, okay, boom, I had the idea at 9 o'clock with the Shifcha Chufa. I didn't know. Shifcha, blah, blah, blah. And what did he do? He didn't, wasn't Mafrish. Wasn't Mafrish. I don't want to be Mechlokas. He knew. He realized. Then he had another beer of the Shifcha Chufa. I managed to forget again. The guy's baby was two days apart. I don't know. He forgot. Every time he forgets and he has another beer of the Shifcha Chufa, and then he remembers. Then what? Depends who you ask. According to Abir Yochanan, haha, Yediyas Mechalkois. Of course, Yediyas would divide. Just like by Chata, so to by Oshom. Abshim Alaki says, Nishta He says, no. I hold that Yediyas alone, without a frosho, then I'm a chalik. I know that Rabbi Kiva says Yediyar Choshu. It's as Choshu as Chatas, Shkoyach. Chatas also, it's not Mechalik. Finished. Well, Hashem. Wow, you did it. There's more depth here and more parts of Rashi which I didn't mention, but that's basically the crux of it. I think I'd, I'd like to, you know, stop here. It's 10 o'clock. Well, Hashem. Thank you. Well, Hashem. It's not a... It's not a, it's not a, an easy omud, and there's more layers even in Rashi. But I think on purpose we'd stop now, and this is good. Bo Hashem, tomorrow another shir bezel Hashem, and hopefully you'll have shir the rest of the week. Thank you to our um, YouTube channel viewers. Thank you Tzvi for your nice wishes, and he wished me a tzlocha on the trip. Thank you online. A Good night. Very very challenging.
Yes, 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 it is, it is, it is, it is. Yes, yes, true, true. But uh, it's even more. Yeah, it's. Uh, this is this is 